What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Get Enlightenment Quick. This is like a side branch of Get Quick, uh, Get Smart Quick. And today's um episode, we're gonna be focusing on the series that we're doing. We're gonna co- we're gonna, we're continuing that, but this time we're going with a different personality disorder, and that is hysteroid. I keep on fucking it up, dog. Like hysteroidic. I think I hope I'm saying it properly. But this is this is mostly when you around people. Like I have a lot of people like this in my life, and I was like, I just systematically kicked them out, you know, because like it just gets bored. You gonna understand when I describe what this personality disorder is. Because it falls under the toxic types of people. And this this personality type, man, is just people who, you know what I'm saying, they constantly, like, they're over the top, they're dramatic, they like to boast. You ask for proof, they can't give you the proof, the details. You know, almost like a Drake song. We hear about the money you've been making, but we never seen a visual. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. So now, the one, like, one, like, like the line right, right there saying is that, one of the traits of these people is that they're attention seeking, so they're constantly gonna like tell me who I am. I'm the bad. I'm the what I want. I'm the boss. I'm the this. And you just get bored, and you're like, bro, like it's just so much. Like, bro, like nah, bro, like nah. We don't fucks with that. We fucks. Another thing besides attention seeking, they like to arrive late. I people arrive late constantly. Fucking constantly, dog. That's fucking disrespect, dog. Like, you're not that fucking important. I'm sorry. You're not that fucking important, okay? I have shit as well. Just because I'm not like saying, I'm fucking awesome. I'm fucking awesome. I'm fucking awesome. Doesn't mean that I don't have important shit. Means I had to juggle my schedule and accommodate you so show the proper respect. Things like that. Another thing, they're very seductive. People like this, like, they show too much skin to get attention and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I, you, you, we know of, of family members, friends, whatever. You probably, probably even dated people like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, just and like, just showing skin unnecessarily, dog. Like, just like booby, just walking around naked, but there are other people in the house. Like, show, it's not like we're body shaming or anything like that. It's just like there's gotta be a certain level of respect, not a way, not a, a, a shock and awe type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is they're very flirtatious. You know, people like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like to turn, they like to use sex as some type of tool, you know what I'm saying, like, like, I have a friend of mine who, like, who's, who's into, who does, like, this life, life coaching type of thing, you know what I'm saying, and he was dealing with, like, uh, what you call it, somebody who was, like, constantly using their body, like, to, like, get favors from men and women, because this person was hot, also turned out this person was molested as a child, you know what I'm saying, you know, abused and shit, so, during, like, the therapy session, like, this person kept on using sexuality, touching him, and said, eh, and he dressed really inappropriately, like, even showed me the picture, like, this person, like, came, like, in those red, like, almost pencil thin skirts that were thin around the waist, and he was like, get the fuck out, you come back tomorrow, we'll dress decent, if you're serious about it, and then the bitch came dressed up, he did what he did, I don't know if it was hypnosis or whatever, but he did what he did, also, some clinical therapy work and whatnot, did what he did, and then the person was, like, healed and whatnot, you know, so you always gotta look out for people like that, using sexuality, um, flirtation for no reason, another thing, they fucking loud, I hate people like that, dog, you loud for no fucking reason, just to garner attention, jealousy, things like that, bro, it's not manipulation, very fucking manipulative through the theatrics, because you're gonna notice these people, like, they similar to, like, I don't know if you can remember, like, what you call it, the, uh, Salem, um, witch trials, almost like that, hysterics, they love doing that shit, just, just being over the top, dramatic, like, rah, 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 yelling and shit, almost like Kanye West, I hate saying shit like that, you know, but it's almost like that sometimes, you're like, bro, I'm just like, bro, I don't want none of that shit in my fucking life, it's just, it's just too much, another thing as well with this, these types of people, it goes back to what I was saying, like, the whole egotism and shit like that, it gets boring, bro, like, you get bored of people like this, Joe Lay constantly, like, constantly about, like, life is not only about you, dog, like, you're not, like, that's, like, some juvenile bullshit, you know what I'm saying, like, you're not that big, you're not that big, bro, 
Another thing we must also consider is that exaggeration. But this goes back to the whole dramatic, over the top, <laughs> you know, people like that. It's just, you know, people like that, bro. I just, I just don't fuck with, man. It's just like, it's just too much, bro. I just don't fuck. It just gets boring. It gets boring as a person, and you like fit to like. I just don't need it in my life, bro. I just don't need it. I want tranquility in a sense of peace, you know. You know, if you want that type of attention, go out and fucking play or some shit. Play with kids or some shit. Okay, don't play with kids, but just I don't fuck with that that type of vibe and shit like that, you know. Another thing that have too much fucking pride, too much fucking pride. I hate people like that, you know what I'm saying? I have too much fucking pride. Too much pride, don't fucking come to me with that bullshit, you know what I'm saying, with, with pride, because, like, as we grow in age, as mature as people, dog, you, they get to a certain stage, dog, like, you gotta have the ability to know that your perspective isn't just the only right one, even if it is right, you know what I'm saying, you gotta listen to other people's perspectives and make them feel heard, you know, because it is a human right to feel fucking heard and shit like that, so, like, be accommodating and ty- that type of shit. Don't think just you just Mufasa because you have fucking pride and shit like that. And another one is sensitive to criticism. Oh shit, bro! Like I love that shit. When you point out like flaws in these people, not like in the sense like to bring them down or anything. Like fit to like we just get bored of you having this big ass head walking around like you you own the shit, and then we pop we, we tell the truth and you you act like a fucking pussy, a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like. Especially when it's constructive criticism, like, you know, you're acting like this, that's the behavior, why don't you act like that? Because it's evoking this type of reaction and emotion in people, you know what I'm saying? But, people like this, you know, the toxic types, these uh, personality defects, not really defects, but disorders, <laughs> they do feel like defects sometimes, but disorders, dog, it, does, it feels like you're talking to a fucking wall with Down syndrome, dog, I know it's kind of mean to say that shit, but it kind of does feel like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just fucked up, people always gotta be the center of attention, I hate that shit, man, I fucking hate that shit, man, like, especially, like, in teams and shit, bro, like, bro, like, motherfucker, like, you're not the only important motherfucker in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are other people in this bitch who are playing a part, who have a bigger impact, who are much more bigger and much more instrumental in making something better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just bullshit. And also thinks the relationship is deep when it's not shallow. You know what I'm saying? These type of people, though, you be listening to them, hearing them speak and shit, and you're like... You listening to that like it's very shallow what you're saying you, you don't say anything about you use a lot of what you, logical fallacies logical fallacies are shit that makes that sound that sounds profound and deep and emotional but it's just fluff like almost a horoscope type of shit you know what i'm saying they say a lot of fake vague shit you know you, you're listening there and you're like bro like it, your shit don't make sense yo it don't make no fucking sense so as a person, like you, you gotta watch out for that. You know, people who can't delay gratification. You know what I'm saying? They gotta have it now. They gotta have it now. They gotta have it now. People like that, dog. You know, fuck them. You don't need that type of shit. You know. Um. Also, what else is that? Oh yeah, I forgot this one. People who take who who blame other people for their setbacks, bro. Like they can't take accountability. Always like it's the ancestors. It's God. It's this. What? What? It's always like. It's always the appropriate, you know, excuse. They're always scapegoating. I hate people like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you pl- you claim to be so awesome. Why can't you take fucking accountability and responsibility for your fucking acts as an individual and as a person? You know what I'm saying? Goes back to being overdramatic and hypersensitive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate that shit, dog. Like, I'm going to be real with you, dog. I don't like people with energy like that. It's fucking finicky, dog. Like, I, like as a person... You gotta know yourself, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know yourself and, and come come according, dog, you know? Don't come with that fake shit. Like, I'm being real I'm being real serious. Like, handling people like this, dog, you just kick them out, dog. Give you, you put your boundaries. But we're gonna do videos in the future that deal with how to set boundaries, um, setting boundaries, what else is there? The types of manipulation, how to know them, the names, and how they fucking feel. You gotta fucking know how they feel so you can you can sense the storm before it happens, so you you preempt yourself, you have prevention plans, and you know, you have a lot of shit in order to handle this before it, it blows up in your face and shit like that. So now they have, they have this acronym, 
acronym like yeah it is an acronym to spot people like this so it's called praise me so praise stands for provocative p i mean the p in praise stands for provocative so like it goes back to what i was saying previously like the seductive behavior using sex you know being over the top dyeing your hair certain weird color just to get attention not actually doing it for self-expression you know what i'm saying because there's a difference there are people out there you know fit to like you'll tell them like you old and shit and they start dying their hair like they're young and shit dog you're like no fit no bro like it's it's unnecessary what you're doing, dog. Age gracefully. Bruce Willis lost his hair and he's showing us it's fucking sexy being a bald eagle. You know what I'm saying? Like Randy Orton from wrestling. Like shit like that, bro. Like we all gonna get ugly one day, dog. We're gonna all become shriveled up pieces of meat, you know. And that's where a lot of people struggle. Like you're not gonna be this sexy for the rest of your fucking life, motherfuckers. You're gonna get ugly as shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes, you know? The R stands for relationships. Thinking it's deep when it's actually shallow. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you just be spewing out facts and, and figures and shit. And, and people are like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, as a person, dog, you gotta be able to feel that click when your values don't match with this person. Whether they're family, they friend, whatever, business part, you gotta know. Because, like, when the values don't, don't click, dog, it causes conflicts and shit. So, you gotta... The best conflict is to address it and end it, dog. I'm being serious. There are better people out there who can fill in the void and who are willing to fill in the void and play to your rules because they're emotionally healthy and mature and have grown as a person and will be able to handle your shit. And you'll also be able to handle their shit. You know what I'm saying? That goes back to that whole thing. So, like, the relationships are glib. They're not deep. The next thing is A for the praise. You know, it's attention-seeking behavior. You know, being over the top, arriving late, constantly arriving late. You know, being throwing theatrics. Yeah, it's been a fucking long time I've spoken English. You know, hysterics. Things like that, dog. People, like, I've noticed that. People just, like, being hysterical, you know. <laughs> Shit like that, dog. You know, I don't fuck with that. It's just too much drama, too much, just too much, bro. It's just too much as a man. You don't tolerate fuck. You just don't fucking tolerate bullshit like that, bro. You just don't tolerate. Then, and then they, the I stands for, in praise, stands for being influenced easily by others and circumstances. Going back to the thing I was saying, like being sensitive to criticism, you know, also blaming others for their they problems when they when they can manage that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, all these toxic type of people, dog, like you know, it's just like they're still children for it to like they just fucked up children, you know what I'm saying? Like they fucked up they fucked up people and you know I don't I don't like saying that, but you know, it just gets boring for it to like like I was saying previously. It's like talking to a war with Down syndrome dog. Like it's it's bad. It's worse now that you're fucking wall. It's worse now that you're fucking wall with Down syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. So speech as well. Speech. The S in praise. You know the S in praise is is speech. It lacks details. You know what I'm saying? Like the Drake line I used. We hear about the money you be talking about, but we never seen a visual. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of proof when you, there's a lot, you know, you ask them for sh things, they're going to try and shut it down quick, you know. You know when people do that quick, though, they don't fucking, they either don't fucking like you, or either A, they're hiding shit, or I C, they don't even know what the fuck they talking about. They're just saying vague shit that sounds profound, you know. You can always tell people who do that because they can't dumb it up, they can't dumb it down, you know. Dumbing it down is making it simple so anybody can understand it as a child, you know. Dumbing it up, dog. And still keeping it simple by using examples and showing it in different facets and different elements, you know, how this shit works, you know, because, like, this type of shit, you'll see it in the business world, in your private life, families and shit, you know, and like I always say, dog, leave, leave. people like this, when you know yourself, you know your purpose and what you're driving towards, you know what I'm saying, like, you don't need this type of shit, you don't need this type of shit, people must be mature and have the self-awareness. To know that I'm fucked up, I'm doing fucked up shit like that chick from Mom. You know what I'm saying? Like if you ever watched that show Mom, you know what I'm saying? She shows awareness and growth, you know, and expansion like that. You should also show the same thing, you know, if you want to call yourself truly an adult. But either ways, we're going back to the M 
the M in praise me stands for makeup. So like I was saying previously with the story of a friend of mine who like who does life coaching and shit like that. They use the physical appearance to lure you in and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like dressing not appropriately, like dressing too sexual for like the situation, bro. That's not right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not right. Dress sexual when it's a date. You're in the club and shit like that. Even, you know what I'm saying? But not like that when it's the job. You know, like, he's dressing all slutty. We like slutty, but come on. Dress appropriately for the appropriate event so you get the appropriate results, man. Just like, shit like that, bro. Just sure. And the E stands for emotion. Fucking shallow. We know people like this who shallow, dog. We know they shallow. They don't have no emotional substance because you can always tell people who don't have emotional substance, dog. You ask for their opinion. They can't give it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can't articulate that shit. It, it becomes boring very quickly, though. Especially, like, if you you, you want to you have French, deep friendships and uh, dating and shit. It becomes very boring because, like, the energy will never be reciprocated. And if it is reciprocated, it is in the same frequency or... um intensity as you gave out so like people like that like emotional shallowness it's like you can always tell though always ask people for their genuine opinion if they can't give their genuine and they start lapsing into vague shit that sounds socially correct nah, nah, nah. it's i right. thank you thank you bye-bye so just like we're just gonna end it off with the hispo <laughs> fuck it up like it's such a fucked up name Hysteronic, yeah, I think hysteronic personality, you know, we talked about the tension seeking, you know, coming late, being seductive, flirtatious, manipulation, stay tuned for that, because I am going to make videos on the various types of manipulation, how to spot them, the egotism, exaggeration, you know, constantly being traumatic, being hypersensitive to criticism, wanting to be the center of attention, you know, can't handle, you know, can't, you know, constantly being, can't delay, um, can't delay gratification, you know, you know, oh yeah, I forgot one thing as well, they gotta, they like being, they like pretending to be sick so they can get attention, I fucking forgot that shit, dog, I hate, I hate people like that, because you, you're gonna know, you're gonna notice people like this, because like, you're gonna notice like, they constantly sick from the same fucking thing, dog, the fucking same fucking thing, and you like, bro, bro, like, bro, like, it's no longer normal, like, you can't be suffering from the same problem, Joe, like, fair to Joe, it gets boring. It gets fucking boring that you're constantly suffering from the same shit. It gets fucking boring. But, you know, we also came up with the acronym praise. You know, the P for provocative. The R for relationships. The A for, you know, attention-seeking behavior. Then the I for influencing, uh, being influenced by others and circumstance. Then the S for speech. Then the E for emotional shallowness. Then the M for makeup and the alluring. So stay tuned for more. This is just a short dipping the toe into the pond, as, as we like to say, where we're going to be delving deep into other things, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, enjoy the video.